Have you ever stopped to consider the life you're leading? Could there be a better, simpler way? We live in a world that's always moving, always changing. Our lives are filled with objects, with things with clutter. We buy, we collect, we accumulate. But does all this stuff truly make us happy? Have you ever pondered upon the possibility of leading a different kind of lifestyle? One that isn't dictated by the number of possessions you own, but by the quality of experiences you enjoy. A lifestyle that isn't about having more, but about being more. A lifestyle that values simplicity over complexity, that cherishes the essential over the extraneous. Imagine living a life free of clutter, a life that is simple, yet fulfilling. What if there was a way to declutter not just your physical surroundings, but your life as a whole? Welcome to the world of minimalism. So, what exactly is minimalism? Is it just about owning fewer things? Well, not quite. Minimalism at its core is a philosophy and a lifestyle. It's about reducing excess, yes, but it's also about making deliberate and thoughtful choices in every aspect of life. Think of minimalism as a spectrum that extends across your life, influencing everything from your wardrobe to your living space, even to your schedule. In fashion, minimalism might mean a curated capsule wardrobe of pieces you truly love and wear regularly. In interior design, it could be a clean, clutter-free space that breathes tranquility and calm. And when it comes to time management, minimalism encourages us to be selective, focusing on activities that add value to our lives. But remember, minimalism isn't one size fits all. It's a personal journey of finding what matters to you and letting go of what doesn't. Minimalism is about more than just decluttering. It's about focusing on what truly matters. How does a minimalist lifestyle compare to a non-minimalist one? Is one really better than the other? A question that beckons to be answered, and indeed one we'll delve into right now. The minimalist lifestyle, in essence, champions the idea less is more. It encourages the removal of excess, focusing on what's truly important. On the other hand, a non-minimalist lifestyle, or what we might call a traditional lifestyle, allows for a more accumulative approach. It doesn't necessarily promote excess, but it doesn't shy away from it either. In terms of benefits, adopting a minimalist lifestyle can lead to a sense of clarity and freedom. Removing physical clutter often leads to a decluttered mind, fostering a sense of tranquility. It can also encourage financial responsibility, as the constant pursuit of material possessions is curtailed. On the flip side, a non-minimalist lifestyle offers its own set of advantages. It allows for a wider range of experiences and the ability to enjoy a variety of material comforts. There's also less pressure to constantly evaluate and reevaluate what is truly essential in one's life. Yet both lifestyles come with their own set of challenges. The minimalist lifestyle requires discipline and constant reassessment of one's needs versus wants. It can also be perceived as restrictive and there's always the risk of going to extremes where minimalism becomes deprivation. Conversely, a non-minimalist lifestyle can lead to a sense of overwhelm with the constant influx of items into one's life. It can also contribute to financial stress and environmental concerns with the constant consumption and disposal of goods. It's important to note that neither lifestyle is inherently good or bad. Both can lead to happiness and fulfillment, depending on one's personal values and circumstances. In the end, it's about finding a balance that works for you. Maybe you're drawn to the simplicity and intentionality of minimalism, or perhaps you find joy and comfort in the variety and abundance of a non-minimalist lifestyle. Whether a minimalist lifestyle is better or worse than a non-minimalist one is a personal decision, but it's certainly worth considering. If you're intrigued by the idea of minimalism, you might be wondering, how do I start? Well, the journey to minimalism isn't a sprint, it's a marathon. It's a gradual process that requires patience and persistence. The first step is to understand why you want to embrace minimalism. Do you desire less clutter, more freedom, or perhaps a simpler lifestyle? Identifying your why gives you the motivation and direction to keep going when the process gets tough. Once you've figured out your why, the next step is to declutter. Start small, perhaps with a single drawer or shelf. Sort through your items and ask yourself, does this item bring value to my life? Does it serve a purpose or bring me joy? If the answer is no, then it's time to let it go. But remember, minimalism isn't about getting rid of everything. It's about keeping what truly matters to you. So when you're decluttering, be kind to yourself. If you're not ready to part with something, that's okay. Minimalism is a personal journey and there's no right way to be a minimalist. 
Next, consider adopting a one-in, one-out policy. This means that for every new item you bring into your home, you remove an old one. This helps to maintain a balance and prevents clutter from creeping back in. In addition to decluttering your physical space, think about decluttering your digital space as well. Unsubscribe from unnecessary emails, delete unused apps, and clear out old files. A clean digital space can be just as refreshing as a clean physical space. Finally, practice mindfulness. Be intentional about what you bring into your life. Before making a purchase, ask yourself, do I really need this? Will it add value to my life? Being mindful helps you to make more conscious decisions and aligns your actions with your minimalist values. Remember, minimalism isn't about deprivation. It's about making room for what truly brings you joy. So as you embark on this journey, focus not on what you're giving up, but on what you're gaining. Freedom, simplicity, and a life filled with things that truly matter to you. So, what have we learned about minimalism? Well, we've dived into the depths of a lifestyle that's more than just a buzzword. It's a philosophy, a way of life, a conscious decision to prioritize quality over quantity. We've seen how minimalism, in its essence, is about focusing on what truly matters, removing the excess to make room for the essential. It's about uncluttering our lives, both physically and mentally, to live with intentionality and purpose. In the realm of fashion and interior design, we've discovered that minimalism champions simplicity, functionality and elegance. It's not about having less for the sake of less, but about making thoughtful choices that reflect our values and our personal aesthetic. It's about finding beauty in simplicity and making room for what truly adds value to our lives. We've also uncovered the benefits of a minimalist lifestyle. It's not just about decluttering our homes, but also our minds. Minimalism can help us reduce stress, increase our focus, and create a sense of calm and balance in our lives. It can help us save money, reduce waste, and make more sustainable choices. But like any lifestyle, minimalism also presents its challenges. It requires discipline, intentionality, and a willingness to question our habits and our desires. Yet we've seen that becoming a minimalist is not a one-size-fits-all journey. It's a personal process of discovery and transformation. The steps to adopting a minimalist lifestyle are not set in stone, but rather guidelines that can be adapted to our own circumstances and aspirations. From decluttering our homes to simplifying our schedules, from questioning our consumption habits to focusing on our values and goals, each step brings us closer to a life of simplicity and intentionality. Whether you choose to embrace minimalism or not, remember, the goal is to lead a life that brings you joy and fulfillment. To quote William Morris, have nothing in your houses that you do not know to be useful or believe to be beautiful.